everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. This is now episode two of our Pokemon Black Let's Play series. I hope you enjoyed episode one. I had a great time recording it. Uh, it's really, really awesome to get back in and, um, and play these older games again. Um, okay, so this is the gym, I think. Yes, we're looking for the gym leader. He's not here. He's in the trainer school. It's not far from the gym. Okay. Oh, is this the... I think this is the monkey forest, if I'm remembering this right. Some trainers train themselves in the dream yard. You might think about going in there. Could find something interesting. I think this is the forest that gives... Okay, it doesn't look like a... Okay, it doesn't... definitely does not look like a forest. <laughs> I'm... I'm trying to... I, I seem to remember you get one of the monkeys early on. I don't know why that sticks out in my mind, but I think you get one of the monkeys early on. Um, all right, so she's got a purloin. Uh, so we've got our Oshawott who's level 10, 11. Okay, we just got level 11 at uh, the end of the first episode. So... I think it might be a good idea for us to just go through this dream yard area here and just see what we can what we can do uh if we can get our oshawa up a couple more levels that might help us uh on the gym i still don't know what the type of the gym is uh i really can't remember again part of me thinks that it's a normal type gym but i uh, i don't know i didn't look it up um i want to kind of go in figure out what it is like when we get in there um, rather than looking it up ahead of time. So... So yeah, we will we will see when we get there. But uh, we take down this second Purloin, and we defeat this trainer here. Oshawott's almost level 12. I... Is, you're gonna hear this a lot, but I don't remember how many trainers, if... Uh, that we come across in here. So, we'll just, like, take out as many as we can. Um... Just try to get our team as strong as they possibly can be uh, for the gym. This youngster Joey's got three here. So I don't want to have to uh, burn through too many potions early on. So also, we, uh, I don't have access to revives yet, I don't think. So I just want to make sure that my team is as strong as it possibly can be. Our Oshawott's going to go up to level 12 here. Alright, he's got a second Patrat, probably a third one as well. So we should be able to survive against his uh, his third Pokemon, no problem here. Okay, it's a Lillipup. I don't think we're going to one-shot this. We weren't one-shotting the Patrats. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright, so we go down to 7 HP. But uh, that Lillipup is fainted. Mr. Joey defeated. So, I know I said I don't want to burn through my, my supplies too quickly, but um, I am... I'm fine to use a potion here because I don't want to take too much time to run out and just hit the Pokemon Center and come back. Who are you? Are you a trainer? Then Panzer could be a big help. Your Oshawa does not do well against stress type Pokemon. So. Okay! I was right. There is someone that gives you the monkey. Right, I received pants here. Okay. All right. I, I I remembered something. I remembered something. So we're gonna go ahead and add pants here to our um, to our little team over here. Alright, if you have many types of Pokemon, something will work out, no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. Alright, so awesome, we got ourselves a fire type. Now what is this? X-Defend. Can I 
get anywhere over here yet. Does not look like it. Okay, so it seems like that's as far as I could go in here. But that's great. So... And it's level 10. It's a level 10 Pantsier. I'm curious as to its nature. Let's go summary. It's again a timid nature. Uh, our, um... Our Oshawott was also a timid nature, so that's actually that's pretty good because this thing is going to be a special attacker because it's fire. So having a reduced physical attack, I'm okay with, and a boosted speed is very nice. Okay, so Striaton City. So he said, "What trainer school?" He's in the trainer school. It's not far from the gym. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, this looks like the trainer school. Trainer school. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, so let's see, gym leader? Oh no, this is Charon. <laughs> I, did, I didn't recognize him from behind. Uh, okay, when a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Uh, hey, Ragnar, have you come looking for the gym leader? Of course I have. He was just here talking about Pokemon types uh, a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Okay, so we're battling him. Let's see how effective my items are, or maybe I'll test without items. Anyways, it's an indoor match, so let's... Yeah, let's not wreck the school like Bianca wrecked the room. Okay. Now, he's the one that's got Snivy. So, that's that's great that we picked up... Um, that we picked up that pants here. And he's actually going to lead with the Snivy, so we may have to... Um, we're definitely going to flip out our Oshawott here. We are definitely going to flip out our Oshawott into Pantsir here. Okay, so it opens with a Leer, which I'm not too concerned about. Because you should probably have... Yes, you, you have Incinerate. Oh, and it burnt up the Ornberry. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so uh, our pants here actually is going to take no damage here because we're going to go first. Moves that can attack first. There sure are a lot of different moves. Yes, there are, Charon. Yes, there are indeed. All right, so... We are going to uh, KO that Snivy. Which is Beautiful. And now he's going to send her to Purloin, so um, I'm going to switch back to Oshawa for this. We're going to switch back to Oshawa here. It's important to choose what item your Pokemon holds. Oh, if he's holding another berry, then it may have been smarter to keep the uh, the pants here out, because then we could have uh, could have burnt up the berry. Prolong use growl. Doesn't look like it's holding a berry, because the berry would have triggered by now. So we're just gonna knock out this purloin without taking any damage. Okay, having that monkey made that really easy. If we only had our Oshawott, we may have uh, that may have been a, a much more difficult battle. Uh, Oshawa wants to learn Focus Energy. Uh, we're not going to let him learn that. We're going to... Oh, I know. I hit the wrong move. Keep old moves. Yes, give up. Alright, so we defeated Charon. I see losing to you means that I still have a lot to learn, and we take $800 from him. Wonderful. Okay, so, so learning to use items well is definitely important then. Okay, I'll give you these berries. Okay, so we get some orange berries. If you give that to a Pokemon, uh, this kind of berry to hold, uh, it will eat it to heal its HP when it goes low in battle. But if you give it uh, man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Okay. All right, so he's going to stay there studying. So what we're going to do is we are going to give our... We are going to give our Oshawott an orange berry... Uh, as well as our Panseer. All right. So now that we cleared out the trainer school, uh, we should... Okay, that looks like that's the gym leader, but I'm going to go in and just heal um, my team first. 
Uh, Oshawa took a little bit of, uh, not damage at the, uh, the trainer school, but it's not, uh, healed to full from, um, from going to that, uh, Dreamwood place, whatever it was called. Alright, so our team is restored to full health. So now we are going to head over to the gym. Again, I have no idea what type this gym is, so we're gonna find out. Yes, yes, I'm a gym leader of this town. You are right, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon I chose? Oshawott. I see, it's weak against grass type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Okay, wait, so does he just like, pick the type? Yeah, okay. I'm Clyde, I'm the guide for the trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate you challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Okay, fresh water. Not bad, it's an early super potion. Okay, so... If he said prepare to face grass... Okay, so wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, we, we're, we're definitely... We have to face a grass... Okay, so this gym is now grass because we chose Oshawa. So we are going to move our pants here right to the front... So it's definitely a very good thing that we got that monkey. Okay, I'm confused. Do I go on the button that of the starter that I chose? I must. Okay. Oh, you go against the weakness of the curtain. I just I just clued into that. I just clued into that. It was a fire. It was a red curtain with the fire logo on it. All right. So here's Lollipop. Okay. It's it's been that long since I played these games. All right. Let's incinerate the Lollipop. Oshawa would have actually been doing better here, I think. Well, that was two crits in a row. Okay, so this lily pup is going to go down. We're just going to finish it off with a scratch uh, to save our incinerates, just in case. But down goes that lily pup. Uh, all right, we are a little over halfway to level 11. So now, this is a water curtain, so we go on the grass button. There we go, all right. Um, a weird part of me thinks that they're still gonna use normal type Pokemon. So I'm gonna, no, not summary. <laughs> we are going to switch Oshawott and Panseer and bring out our Oshawott and take on this trainer here. Okay. Waitress Tia sends out a Patrat. Okay. So yeah, it seems like it seems like the trainers in the gym have normal types. I don't know if that means that the gym leader is also going to have normal types or if he's going to go or if he's going to go with the type that's like uh, strong against my starter. We, we will find out. We will find out. Water gun. Alright, that's one KO'd Patrat. And here comes a Purloin. So we're gonna keep our Oshawott out. I'm gonna hit you with a water gun. We're gonna take a scratch. We'll be fine. Doesn't, uh, didn't knock us low enough to proc our Ornberry yet, which is nice, so we'll, we'll have that for the next battle. Alright, so Waitress T has been defeated. And then we go on the fire button for the grass curtain. Now it looks like we've got the leader. Okay, so... He said prepare to fight grass. And he's got green hair. 
So, I'm gonna bring out Pants here. I'm gonna bring Pants here to the front. And we are going to take on this guy. Welcome to Striaton City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with fire type Pokemon. Yeah, I'm a water type specialist. Now, my name is Cress. Uh, pleased to meet you. Make your acquaintance. And my name is uh, Silen, I guess. I like grass type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us are here, um, well. Oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That indeed is the case. And the partner you first chose was a water type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my grass type Pokemon will, um, well, we're gonna battle. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we, uh, we do have a grass type gym leader to face. So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll, um, put everything I've got into being, er, you know, your opponent. All right. So... Challenged by Leader Silen. So he leads with a Lillipop, which is interesting. I wonder if they each have the monkey. So I think it's actually going to be better here for me if I switch and preserve my Osh and preserve my pants here for whenever he brings up the grass type. So we're gonna flip into Oshawa. Oshawa can take anything that uh, that I get hit with here, especially because uh, Oshawa still got the Orn Berry. Okay, and this thing uh, is raising its attack. Hopefully, we'll be able to two shot this thing with Water Gun. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a three shot. All right, so yay for the Orn Berry. Oh, so it picked up an orange berry. How lovely. There we go. It's going to heal with its orange berry. We're going to take another bite. That only did 11. So. Okay. We, K we KO'd the lily pup anyways. And we hit level 14. Pantsir gained some experience as well. Pantsir's now level 11. Yes, here comes Pansage. So we are going to switch Pokemon to our Pansir. Alright, it's a level 14 Pansage. But uh, we have... Uh, we have type advantage, and we're holding an orange berry. Yeah, it just boosted its attack, but hopefully uh, we will still be okay here. If this thing is holding a berry, it's going to get it burnt up. Okay, so it did not look it. It was definitely not holding a berry there. So it's now doubled its attack and special attack. We should still be able to survive something here. We should be able to survive that Vine Whip. Okay. It was a crit. Even on a crit, we still survived it. So we, um... And then the Orin Berry brings us up to a little bit of a nicer HP pool. Um, okay. All right, he potioned, which is okay. Because now we're going to hit it with another Incinerate. Super effective. Hopefully we can live a, a non-crit Vine Whip here. We do. Perfect. Pan Sage down. And there's the first gym. Perfect. Pan Sage defeated. Pan is probably going to go right to level 12. Or not. <laughs> Almost there. Alright. And there's the first gym. There is the first gym defeated. Yes, we are very strong. <laughs> Seems like not even Chili or Crest could beat you. There's the badge. There we go. Awesome. We see the trio badge from Silen. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon, including 
Uh, traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. Also, we want you to have this. Okay, so we get work up. Probably not going to teach that to anybody. If you use work up, the Pokemon's attack and special attack will go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. I think this is the generation that introduced that, because I'm pretty sure they were still single use in Gen 4. So that's amazing that TMs are now uh, are infinite. Uh, I mean, like, they, they've been infinite for like since these games, but I mean, for the purpose of this game, it's nice that they're infinite. All right, who are you? Oh, this is Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me, okay? You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in Unova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs is right here. Okay. My room is upstairs. Come on, go upstairs. Okay. Why? So like I said, I'm Fennel. As you said, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Did they bring me up here to do an experiment on me? Professor Juber is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. Is it HMO1? Yeah, it's cut. Okay. There are some moves that Pokemon can use even when it's not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach the Pokemon the move called Cut. It can cut down a small tree. And you can use the hidden machine as many times as you like. As many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? Uh, but it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask a favor too. There's a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist of a Pokemon in there called Muna. Okay. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync to collect save files of various trainers. Okay. All right then. Um, there is a uh, there is a small tree that's in. That's over here, so uh, I do want to. We'll probably teach Cut to Purloin. I think Purloin should probably be able to learn it. Let's let's go see. All right, HMO one Cut. It contains Cut. Teach it to a Pokemon. Everything here can learn it. That's great. Um, we'll teach it to Purloin just because Purloin learned Cut. Very good. Yeah. Let's cut down this tree. Go Purloin! Oh, hi Bianca. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? Oh sure, just, you know, I cut down the tree, I do all the hard work, but you get to go in first. You know. To to totes fine, Bianca. Now what? Hey, did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come, let's go see. Yeah, it's a Muna. Ah, Team Plasma. We found you, Muna. Come on, come on, make some dream mist. Huh, who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Musharna emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. All right then, interesting. Oh, nah. Come on, spit out that Dream Mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off Dream Mist. That's mean. Why? Your trainers too, right? I love how they want to liberate the Pokemon, but then they kick it. Great. That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon, so you're kicking it. I fully understand. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. Alright, so it's a trainer battle. Team Plasma. Challenged by Team Plasma Grunt. He's got one measly Pokemon, and it's a Patrat. Oh, 
All right. Oh, yeah, my very weak pansier is still out front. Um, we're actually gonna... We're actually gonna... Oh, Oshawa's still kind of, kind of low as well. Okay, so we're just going to... We're gonna incinerate this Patrat. We're gonna just take the L on, uh, Pansier being KO'd. If, if this thing uses a damaging move, which now, if it does, we're definitely gonna be KO'd because we have a defense drop. So unless this thing just continues to use Leer and doesn't do any damage to us, we might be okay. And we got a crit there. Okay, but it used Bite, so now we're down. We are down. Alright, so in comes Oshawott to cash in on this um, free experience now because uh, uh, Pantsir is fainted, so Oshawott's going to get all the XP. And the Plasma Grunt is defeated. Right, so now do we got to fight off the other one? We're not taking them seriously because they're kids. Whatever, I'm next, yeah. I love how them Bianca's just, like, standing there. It's like, you you got a Pokemon from the Professor, too? Like, <laughs> shouldn't you have taken one of these? Guess not. All right, so now we got to take out a Purloin. And uh, our, Purlo our Purloin's actually going to be going out first. Which, our Purloin is uh, likely also going to get KO'd here. Uh, we're going to do what we can with our Purloin. So that, again, Oshawa can come in and clean up. Okay, so we missed on that cut, which is lovely. There we go. Thank you. Let's bring in Oshawa. Perfect. Water gun. Down goes Purloin. There we go. Can't believe we, we lost, but we have to obtain the Dream Mist, so are they, what, just gonna kidnap? Oh, okay. He's, like, punting it. Gets this just appeared in here. What are you two doing goofing off? Another Gets this? We Team Plasma shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties... This isn't gets us when he is gathering followers or gets us when he is trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is gets us when a plan has failed and he's about to issue punishment. You guys go be fired! <laughs> anyway, let's hurry and say we're sorry so he forgives us. So you run away! Yes, that is the way to do it. There's a Musharna. just now that person called gets us appeared all over the place and it wasn't real right could it have been a dream yeah maybe and that pokemon oh yes musharna yes there's fennel i couldn't wait so i came over is that musharna thought you were a professor <laughs> shouldn't you know and off they go did something happen oh fennel well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came, and it showed us something like a dream. And then Team Plasma, I think I followed that. So Musharna evolves from Muna, so seeing Muna it trouble, in trouble, it used its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. Yes, that should be the dream dust. Dream mist. With this, I can complete my research. You two come to our house later, okay? Okay! How random was that? Uh, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me, while well, I'm gonna look for that Pokemon we saw just now. Alright. I would love to do some random encounters up there, but uh, my team is very weak right now, so... We are going to have to go hit the Pokemon Center, and then we're gonna go check back uh, at Fennel's house, because that's what we were asked to do. And then we'll see what Fennel has for us.
We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Okay, toodles. Alright, so Fennel's house was up here. Up the stairs, into Fennel's room. There we go. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect save files of various trainers. Thank you so much. As a token of my appreciation, I will give you this Sea Gear to use. The Sea Gear is a device related to communications, such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Okay? Please turn off Sea Gear in places such as airplanes and hospitals. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it off. Because I really don't need it. If you want to turn on the C gear, touch the power symbol at the bottom right. Okay. Then after turning the power on the power, if you touch the question mark at the bottom right screen, you can read about the C gear. About game sync, I'd like to explain a little bit more about the system to collect trainer save files. I don't really care to learn more. <laughs> so uh, we can do great things. Now game sync can retrieve memories of sleeping Pokemon using Dream Mist. That's right, we'll collect save files of trainers from all over the world. Alright, wonderful. What's more, we learned that if you use Game Sync to make a Pokemon sleep, it will have dreams. Okay, then when you wake the Pokemon up, its dreams will be a reality in space called the Entralink in the middle of Unova region. Okay? If you like, please send your save file. I've summed up the details in the PC. So can... Okay. I'm probably never going to use this Thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is for me. Please take it. Don't be shy. Is it a book? The Pal Pad. Okay. You can register your friends in the Pal Pad. After you register, you can link with those friends over Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to do all kinds of fun things. You can trade Pokemon, challenge your friends to battle, and so on. Uh, I don't want all these forced tutorials. You can either input your friend's code using the Pal Pad or use the IR connection from the seat here. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, I can finally leave. <laughs> All right. So, I think that's basically it for this city. This should be Route 3, I'm assuming. Unless this is part of the city. Found a great ball, okay. Who are you? Do you know how TMs work? Yes. Okay. Can't tell if this is the rest of the city or... It's a shiny gym badge. And that badge proves you have enough skill to handle whatever comes next. Alright. Here is Route 3. Alright, so we made it to Route 3. I have no idea what Route 3 holds uh, for us. But I think this is actually going to be the perfect place to end episode number two. So there was a lot of stuff to do in Striaton City uh, with, you know, going to get our monkey and then the trainer school and the gym and then the whole thing with the Muna. So that was a lot of stuff to do in that one city. Uh, so what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to end the episode here and then we are going to, uh, episode three will be resuming on Route 3 uh, and we'll make our way up to the next city and possibly take on the next gym and uh, we'll see what happens. So thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've been enjoying the series so far, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys have any feedback about anything that we could do in this series, uh, feel free to leave all of that stuff in the comments down below, uh, and I'll go through it all and uh, take uh, some suggestions into account, and uh, maybe we can uh, make some of the uh, future episodes, uh, you know, we can guide them based off of some suggestions. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in episode three.